in the last video we defined our objective function or cost function j as j is equal to 1 over 2m summation i is equal to 1 to m z i minus y i whole squared where z i is w x i plus b b is by us here and uh, even if we expand it it becomes 1 by 2 m z1 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus y2 whole square plus so on up to m terms so we have this cost function j so we can see that if we plug the value of zi here then j will be function of w and b so we need to find del j over del w and del j over del b gradient in order to update w and b using gradient descent so let's find it out so in order to find del j over del w or del j over del b we need computation graph and then we use back propagation to find these gradients so let's draw computation graph here computation graph in this computation graph since j is a function of w and b so first uh, we say this is w and b this is our parameters and z z1 z2 gm all depend on w and b so here it will be z1 z2 all the way up to gm and finally j depends on z1 z2 gm so we have j here and all these are nodes basically we have these nodes so now we can say that since z1 depends on w and b we have this arrow for forward propagation similarly for z2 for zm and finally j depends on z1 z2 zm so we have this arrow this way we define the computation graph okay and now we need to back propagate in order to find del j over del w so we look for how many paths are there clearly from w to j we have m paths from w z1 j w z2 j w z m j so let's consider the first path this path w z1 j then this is the path then we back propagate we will get del z over del z1 and then we back propagate from z1 to w we will get del z1 over del w so now let's find del z over del z1 and then this one and then we will take the product to obtain del z over del w through this path let's do that so here we will have del z over del z1 as nothing but partial derivative of j with respect to z1 using this equation if we differentiate it we will get 1 over 2 m and by the way differentiation of all these terms remaining terms will be zero only differentiation of this term will be there and this term because all these terms are constant that's why its differentiation will be zero and differentiation of this term del over del z1 z1 minus y1 whole square and plus 0 0 all these terms 0 so we will have 1 over 2 m and if we differentiate it then we can apply chain rule of differentiation to differentiate it like this way del z1 minus y1 whole square over del z1 minus y1 times del z1 minus 
y1 over del z1 this is chain rule we all know that and then differentiation of this will be twice of this quantity which is 1 over 2m times twice of z1 minus y1 and differentiation of z1 with respect to z1 will be 1 and this is constant so its differential will be 0 so we are left with this thing so we have this quantity finally del z over del z1 as z1 minus y1 over m this leads us to this one so this del z over del z1 through path this path we have right similarly for del z over del z2 through this path we can back propagate then similarly we will have del z over del z2 as z2 minus y2 over m and likewise so for ith path we can write del z over del z i is equal to z i minus y i over m so now we know del z over z, del z i through any of the paths now let's find del z 1 over del w 1 what is del z 1 over del w 1 so now look at this equation since z i depends on w using this equation linearly it depends so what we can do we can differentiate this del by del w z i which is nothing but w x i plus b and we can see that for this b is constant since, since it is partial derivative so we have w del w by del w which is 1 and we are left with x i only so this is del z i over del w so del z1 over del w will be x1 del z2 over del w will be x2 and so on del z m over del w will be x m now when we apply back propagation then from this path this path when we apply this back propagation then we have del z over del w through path 1 this path we have this product of these two which is nothing but x1 uh, i mean uh, del z over del z1 i am writing first i am writing del z over del z1 times del z1 over del w right del z1 over del w right through this path similarly through second path we can also write in a similar fashion del z del z over del z2 times del z2 over del w so we have m paths so all these terms will be added up likewise plus del z over del z m times del z m over del w and by the way we know the value of all these partial derivative terms del z over del z1 we have calculated using this del z over del z2 we have calculated so what we can do we can sum them up summation i is equal to 1 to m del z over del z i times del z i over del w and finally we can plug the value of del z i over del w as x i so it becomes x i times del z over del z over del z i 
and the value of this is given by this zi minus yi over m and this is summation i is equal to 1 to m so we have the equation this equation del z over del w and we can say where del z over del z i is nothing but this equation z i minus y i over m so we calculated this one del z over del w similarly we can find out del z over del v also how we can find out del z over del v so look for look for different paths how many paths are there from b to z similarly from b to z we have b z 1 z b z 2 z up to b z m z similarly we have m paths so we will uh, back propagate in a similar fashion so from this path b z 1 z we have del z over del z1 we already calculated times del z1 over del b when we back propagate from z1 to b we will be left with del z1 over del b so del z over del b is equal to del z over del z1 del z over del z1 times del z1 over del b and by the way del z1 over del v will be when we differentiate this with respect to b this is constant so this will be zero differentiation of this will be zero del z1 over del b will be one only del b by del b so this times i am writing one plus similarly we look for the second path from B to Z2 to Z, then we back propagate from Z to Z2, will be having del Z over del Z2 and del Z over del Z2, we know again this through this equation, del Z over del Z2 times again del Z2 over del B, when we back propagate through this. So, del z2 over del b will be equal to 1 again because this is constant so for all those terms this del z3 over del b del z i over del b will be 1 so this plus so on up to del z over del z m times 1 and finally we can say that we can say that del z over del b is nothing but equal to summation i is equal to 1 to m del z over del z i since this is multiplied by 1 so this is the equation we have where del z over del z i is given by this so now we know these two equations for del z over del w and del z over del b fine uh, this is it and uh, next we will see how to uh, vectorize this code and what do you mean by vectorization we will see in the later video fine thank you